Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Sir Arnold, and also thank you, kids, for sharing the message of this song, how we are part of God's family. Once again, a blessed Sabbath morning to you all, TAIC brothers and sisters. And also, happy children to your kids. Thank you for the opportunity to serve in Trinity Adventist International Church once again. This church is close to our hearts, as this was our family's first home church for many years. My big sister Hannah and I were both dedicated to the Lord in this church. And we have fond memories of church members through the years. <laughs> Today, I would like to share about a child like no other. Jesus. Most of us know him as the Savior or Messiah, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, right? But he was once a child like you before and me. We rarely hear or read about Jesus as a growing up child. The question is, all of us often wonder, including me, what his childhood was like. Now this morning, we'll study how he was as a child based on the Bible. Although the Sabbath is mostly focused on children, I want to tell the parents here and for those watching us online that there are things for you today as well. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful Sabbath day that you have given to us. Help us to understand your word and help us to follow your example. And pour out your word upon me, O Lord, as I deliver your message today. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us now focus our study in the book of Luke chapter 2, verses 40 and 46 to 47 and 51 to 52. Please open your Bibles to Luke 2, verse 40. This is the first memory verse that I will be reading. Luke 2, 40. The boy grew up and became strong, filled with wisdom, and God's grace was upon him. Jesus grew up strong through the power of the Holy Spirit. He was guided by the Holy Spirit as he grew. What does it mean? It means Jesus followed the still small voice every day. Now kids, I'm sure your parents always remind you that there are two voices that you hear in your heads. Now there's one that tells us to do what's right, and there's another one that tells us to do the opposite of right. How can we remain strong to do what is only right? Like Jesus, let us get to know the voice of the Holy Spirit by following it always. In doing this, we become familiar to it and we become more like Jesus. Let us not ignore it or else we will be in danger by following the enemy's voice. Jesus grew up filled with wisdom. How? Through the guidance of his parents and through God's word, he then grew up to be wise. Who wants to be wise among you kids? Who wants to be wise? Also the parents? I would love to also, but as a child, we can only be wise by learning from older people, especially from our parents. To learn from them is one of the best things in this world. Why? Because they've gone through many things with God. Let us also be reminded, parents are God's representative on earth to us children. 
So to follow our parents is the same as following our loving Father in heaven. Let us obey and be respectful to them at all times. No need to stomp our feet and roll our eyes. Also, this verse reminds our parents to learn from the Lord each day because we, your little ones, are watching. We would like to gain wisdom flowing through you, not only for this world, but for the coming new heavens and new earth. To fill our childhood with wisdom from the pages of God's word and unmoving faith to our God is very important for us to be prepared for the coming kingdom. The grace of God was with the boy. This is number three. God's grace can be seen with Jesus, in Jesus, in all his actions and his words. He showed God's grace flowing through him. God's grace is all about his nature of love. And so whether in school, at home, or in the church, kids, let us remember to show God's mercy by being loving and caring. Let us show grace as Jesus did. I would like you to open to your Bibles to Luke chapter 2, verse 46 to 47. Luke 2, 46 to 47. If you are there, please read with me. After three days, they found him in the temple complex, sitting among the teachers or the rabbis. I would like to pause here and explain to the kids, what is a rabbi? Kids, do you know what a rabbi is? I will explain to you. A rabbi is someone who worked in the temple during Jesus' time. Maybe a scholar of the law or a teacher of the law. He also served in the temple while doing God's work. Let's continue. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the rabbis, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. Jesus showed how he was being raised by being a good representative of his family. Friends, yes, we are still children. We make mistakes a lot, and so do I. But we can also be more mindful of how we behave. Let us behave fit to show people how we're being raised in our heavenly homes. Also, parents, let us be reminded that in our homes, God comes first above all things. At the end, it's not about how many things we have in our homes or how high your children's grades are. It's the character of Jesus and a home filled with heavenly love that's important for eternity. Jesus was not only smart in the knowledge he gained, but the people who heard and saw him were amazed by how he behaved. He was careful with his words and his actions. Children, we can do the same by putting God first. Luke 2, Luke 2, verse 51 to 52. Please open your Bibles to that verse. If you're still on the same page, please look for that verse. Luke 2, 51 to 52. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. In other words, he was obedient to his parents. 
His mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, most importantly, and in favor with God and with people. And with who? People. Jesus, even though he realized he is more than this, than just a child, he subjected himself to the role of his parents. He was humble in acknowledging his parents' guidance and care for him. He had chores at home. He helped out cleaning, washing dishes, making his bed, many more, and even helped in their family's livelihood. He followed his parents' instructions every day. And by these, he turned out to be a very wonderful adult. Kids, let's remember, no one would be a bad person by learning how to help out. Children, we depend on our parents for many things, from a lot of things, from material stuff to emotional stuff, and most of all, for our spiritual lives. Let us be obedient and submit ourselves to their judgment as they always pray for us and lead us towards God's path to heaven. Jesus made his parents and the people around him happy. He also made God happy while he was growing up. Who did he make happy while he was growing up? He made God happy while he was growing up. How? Jesus found favor with man and God by sticking to the principles of humbleness, kindness, love, and faith. By following Jesus' example every day. Children and parents, we could never go wrong. Even if the whole world around us would go crazy. Jesus himself said in Matthew 18, verse 3 to 4, please open your Bibles, to Matthew 18, 3 to 4. This will be the last memory verse. It says there, I assure you, he said, unless you are converted and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child, this one is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. How can we get to heaven? By being humble like a little child. Children often would have faith like no other. They would give their whole heart to their parents for they realize that they need help. They rely on their parents from food to what you eat, clothing to what you wear, care what you need most, love what you need from your parents and protection, the guidance that you get from your parents. They look to their parents for understanding and guidance. Before I conclude my sermon this morning, let's review the six points for today. Number one, Jesus grew up strong through the power of the Holy Spirit. He was guided by the Holy Spirit as he grew. Jesus grew up filled with wisdom. Number two, how? Through the guidance of his parents and through God's word. Through God's word. He then grew up to be wise. Point number three, the grace of God was with Jesus. And point number four, 
Jesus showed how he was being raised by being a good representative of his family. And point number five, Jesus, even though he realized he is more than just a child, he subjected himself to the role of his parents. And number six, Jesus made his parents and the people around him happy, which is true. He also made God happy while he was growing up. To conclude my sermon, and before I do, I would like to give a reminder. About, our, about a year ago, our world changed because of this pandemic. It's still out there, and so let us be careful. Our world changed to the point that children and parents were forced to spend more time together at home than they could ever imagine. While staying home to study and work together, all of us realize that it's very important to have a childlike faith in a God who holds tomorrow. As the world goes through many troubles, we should find peace in our Christian homes. As the world turns upside down, we should find peace in our Christian homes. A Christian home filled with love, joy, peace, and faith in a loving and all-powerful God who is preparing a better place for us at this very moment. Like the child Jesus, let us also be humble like children to daily have faith in our Heavenly Father in all things. Would you like to follow Jesus' example every day? Not just today, everybody, but every day? If so, then all of us, we are ready to share this message to others who don't know him yet about the story of that lovely little boy from long ago, Jesus, who was once a child, just like you and me. Thank you, Nathan. Praise God for that wonderful that message. Uh, on behalf of Trinity Adventist International Church Children's Department, we'd like to give this one to you. Thank you for coming. Here. Thank you, Bob. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats.